In this video, I'll be breaking down Riot Games' new FPS shooter Project A and the most important things you should know. Hey everyone, I am Neo, and I'm here to give you all the updates you need about Project A. So, if you're interested, maybe consider subscribing for future updates. So, without further ado, let's go right into the video. So, on October 15, Riot Games announced a couple new things coming soon. A card game called Lanes of Runeterra, a fighting game codenamed Project L, and a new character-based tactical FPS shooter called Project A, as well as some other things. If you are interested in learning about everything that was announced, I'll leave the link down in the description. So, Project Day, what is it about? It seems to be an arena FPS shooter with some hero abilities, something close to a mix of Counter-Strike with Overwatch. But, according to one of the developers, Greg Street, Overwatch and Project Day don't share much in common at all, having a lot more resemblance to Counter-Strike's gameplay, as you can see from these tweets. And, Riot Games CEO Nicole Laurent tweeted that you will not kill with the abilities, they only provide a tactical opportunity for gameplay, which will be what really matters. As you can see, the gunplay seems precise, map design looks really good, there is no clutter, lanes and angles look very dynamic and efficient, and you can think that to people like Salvatore Garozzo, aka Volcano, someone you may know from helping create maps like DE Cash and the new version of Nuke in the current CSGO competitive map pool, as well as being an old CS pro, who's working as a developer for Project A. And that brings me to the point of why so many people are so excited for this game. As you may have seen in Realm Rambo's video, which I'll leave down in the description, Riot is really trying to do things right. Testing the game with pro players from various games, they're making sure the gameplay mechanics and movement feel just right, and even beyond that. One of the main points in the presentation video was the huge emphasis on solving Peaker's advantage as well as having high tick rate servers, which, if you come from games like CSGO and Rainbow Six, you know how important these are, as well as having a really good anti-cheat system, but we'll see about that on launch day. As shown in the presentation video, we can see the game might have an economy like Counter Strike, as well as having similar movement mechanics. As you can see, he's standing still before firing. Having a deeper look here, we can see the cooldowns and abilities. I think the knives are the ultimate ability, and then you have things like dodge, probably the wall ability we saw earlier, and some healing ability as well. Of course, this is bound to change, as well as the name of the game, but for now, we must deal with what we have. Some quick extra things you should know. The game is running on Unreal Engine 4, as you can see from this picture from the trailer. Also, Rod recently created the official Project Day Reddit and Discord server, which I'll leave in the description. If you want a way more detailed review of the trailer, I recommend you read this post by Kiri Bukai. It goes into detail a lot more than I did. For news and updates on everything about Project Day, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next one.